On April 29th, anti-government protesters tried to break the Syrian army siege on the city of Dara. Eyewitnesses at the time described how security forces indiscriminately opened fire on them. Dozens were killed and wounded, countless others detained. <laughs> Among them, say his family, was 13-year-old Hamza, separated from his father in the chaos. A month later, the family received their son's body. Hamza's face bloated, purple. This video posted to YouTube catalogs each of his wounds, much of it too graphic to broadcast. The narrator points out multiple gunshots before moving to his head. And even more shocking, his genitals were mutilated. CNN cannot independently verify what happened to Hamza or the authenticity of this video. After it was initially broadcast, Hamza's family was threatened. Now they are too petrified to talk, even to close friends. Rezan Zaytouni, a prominent Syrian activist who we reached via Skype, says she has no doubt it's real and that the regime had a message in releasing the boy's body. They want the people to see this. They want the people to get scared. They want the people to know that there is no red lines. Everything, no matter how awful is it, could happen to their families' members if they continue to participate in this revolution. But far from cowing people, the video has only made them bolder. Demonstrations to protest Hamza's death erupted. Even children took to the streets, risking a similar fate, vowing that his blood was not spilt in vain. Activists say they are not surprised that the regime could have committed such cruelty and claim it's not the first time a child has been targeted. This 11-year-old boy was allegedly shot in his home. This video shows the body of a child lying in the street amid intense gunfire as others try to recover his body. And here children lie wounded in hospital after security forces allegedly fired at their school bus. Hamza's death has prompted international outrage, a Facebook page calling itself We Are All the Martyr that child Hamza Ali Al Khatib had 60,000 followers by Tuesday. The face of this 13 year old from a village in southern Syria, now the symbol of an uprising. Arwa Damon, CNN, Beirut.